So today is going to be a little bit of a different video. I got a comment in a Game Boy uh, emulator for the Palm OS operating system. Someone was wondering how to convert the ROMs and how to get the emulator onto your Palm OS device. So this video is going to take you through a step-by-step -step on how to do all of these and I don't want to update all my software. Um, so yeah, let's hop right into it. Um, I'll pull up my um, Dropbox site. Um, there will be a link down in the description for it. So uh, go down there and click on it. Okay, so we are here on my uh, Dropbox page. And first we are going to uh, download the driver. So we'll select that and we will need the Windows converter. There's also a Mac converter, but I'm pretty sure it won't work because it was designed for 2005 max and the code is probably outdated and it won't work so I don't think it will even uh I don't think it will work so uh I wouldn't waste your time on it um but I'll put the link up anyways if you have a lot of time to waste and uh, if you don't have the Palm OS desktop software you will need to download this and uh before I continue I forgot to say um I am not going over how to install the Palm OS desktop app, you will be needing that. And you will need a 64-bit driver because the software is outdated, uh, designed for 32-bit systems. So you will have to download a 64-bit driver. Getting past that, you will need to download those two. So I have them just uh, selected. I'll click download and it will pull up this. You will want to save. Or if you're using Google Chrome, it'll save to you uh, your uh, downloads folder. But we are going to be putting it on the desktop or uh, the convenience of it. And uh, it is downloading. Just a minute. So here we go. Here's our zip folder. We'll want to extract this, so double click on it. Or if you're running a different operating system, or something's not working quite right, uh, quite right uh, then you would use 7-zip, uh, which is a program uh, that you can download. Just search Google 7-zip download and download that. And if uh, you have the option open, you don't have to download that. You can just click that and it will pull up this window. So anyways, we'll select this, put it onto the desktop. We'll extract it and then here we go. So first off, you will want to download the driver for this program. So we'll double click the driver, I'll select yes, then I'll extract all of the files. This will only take a few seconds, depending on the system. It all depends on your hard drive, your speeds, internet speeds, everything like that. So I'm going to really quickly check the frame rate to make sure I'm maintaining, uh, maintaining 60 FPS. Okay, so we are back to recording. Sorry about that. My computer was running at 60 FPS and that's a little bit too much stress on the computer, so I switched it back to 30. So, um, it's saying that I already have this installed on the computer, um, but it should go through the install process on your computer. But, um, anyways, we'll go to the converter. We'll actually, we'll just take this out of the zip file. And here we go. So here's the converter software. Um, this will pull up if you're running Windows 10. This means completely nothing. It's just because uh, Windows has had, um, or Windows has had a breach in the code and they had to do an update and uh, they're being more cautious about software running on the computer. So we're gonna run anyways because it's a safe software. So um, I forgot to mention before you do this, you might want to uh, right click it and go down to properties and uh, go to compatibility and click this. It will uh, run a previous version of Windows, which will just make it run a little bit smoother. So run anyways.
So it was successfully installed. So now we should have a new program on our uh, computer. Um, just a minute, let me find it. Uh, we'll be right back. So now that all that's done, um, we'll move this up here. And uh, we'll open up the application. And here we are. So I'm going to make sure the, okay, everything's working. Um, so now we're going to need a few ROMs. Let me go get some and I'll be right back. So I am back. I have a few M uh, ROMs that I want to convert um, over here. So what you want to do is drag and drop. See, I have the file right here. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention this emulator is a Game Boy specific. It can't be a Game Boy Color game. Uh, with the exception of Pokemon Silver um, and Gold, because they were originally designed for both the Game Boy and the Game Boy Color. So those are like the only few exceptions. There are some more exceptions, but I can't think of any at the top of my head. So I am going to be just using these two files. So this is uh, Galaga game. It's just a random ROM, so uh, we'll drop it into there. And we'll also drop this um, And I guess this one is uh, one of the more intensive games, so I think uh, the uh, converter probably can't handle it, so I guess we won't be converting this one today. So we have the one game, and we are going to uh, convert all. And... Uh, it will uh, make the file, um, it will uh, convert the file and put it directly into your, uh, onto your desktop. Oh, and I totally forgot, we are going to need uh, the emulator um, to even do this stuff. So we are going to plug it in, uh, or we're going to download it, save as, um, we'll save it on the desktop, and we saved. Um, so. Now what you're going to do is go into your hot sink. You'll have to uh, boot this up and uh, get the hot sink driver all loaded. And uh, when I plug in my uh, phone, it will uh, pull up faster. Uh, I am going to go get my phone because I don't have it right by me and I will be right back. Okay, so I am back. I got my phone. I'm going to quickly plug it in to my computer. Just give me a second. So I now have my uh, phone plugged into the computer and we are going to double click the file and it should pull up right away um, on your computer and then we'll double click the ROM like so and now we'll uh, start the hot sync right after I uh, enter in my password go and now we will start the hot sink it is currently running and yeah it's installing all of the stuff it's backing up my palm and all that okay so we are done um let's see if it is working i will uh really quickly get out my camera and switch over from there or to there um, I will switch really quickly over to my camera so you can see what's going on on my palm so I got my camera sorry for the shakiness I am holding it with one hand so here we go so here it's showing up right here we'll click on that and there we go we got the Galaga and uh, it will boot up I don't think I have my control set up let me check and actually, I am going to turn up the brightness so you can see a little better. Okay, now we will uh, map the buttons. You will want to set this up, otherwise you will not be able to play the game. Okay, I think I already have all this mapped out. Never mind. Um, and just going through an intro animation. Um, let's see. Wants me to press start. Okay, here we go. 
I'm not going to be very good because I'm holding this with one hand. And this game's a little glitchy uh, for my palm because it is running a slower processor. Um, the person that won me to uh, tell her how to uh, do this has a Palm TX, and uh, that should run the Game Boy emulator at full speed. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. Uh, comment down below if this was helpful. Um, and, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video.